Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Banjo Tooie. This is Showboat, and welcome to what should be the final, the final episode of Banjo Tooie. I cannot believe it. This is the end. It is the end. The very, very end. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. The final fight! It's here! We finally arrived! We've finally arrived. I can't believe it. It's taken so long. It's taken so long. We'll, we'll, we'll see how many hours the, uh... The, uh, game has recorded. Oh, I'm sure it's at least ten. It's at least ten, if not... 12. I haven't honestly looked at the actual time in a while. It's a lot, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a lot. Ah, so, how this thing managed to get up here, I don't have a clue. But say hello to the hag one. We will be using clockwork eggs. We will be using grenade eggs. And we will be dodging the crap out of that drill. Finally, after two years. Time for revenge. Yeah, don't bet on it. So, if you thought the trivia questions were finished, you thought wrong! Because in this fight, we're gonna have trivia questions. Suffice it to say, I don't really think it matters if we get it right or wrong. What is the name of the... L Local Globos. Alright, say hello to first person mode. And say hello to the hell that is my strafing. I am so bad at this. More lasers are required! More lasers are required! More grenade eggs are required, to be honest. So yes, this fight against Grunty is a first-person mode fight against Grunty. His eggs, his, 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 his eggs. Interesting, so we're in one of those types of situations that are very rare in nature. But I guess not, not quite so rare among birds and reptiles, I guess. Time for something new! Now we get bombs. Mortar cannons! Ow. Thank God for honey back, huh? What are they doing on the arc? Oh. Flying. How would I know that? Uh I didn't even get an arc. I don't know. This is where replay version. I'm firing too, too high because the sensitivity on the Y axis of this thing is too damn high. I didn't hit her enough times, so now we get to do this again. I just about walked right into that. Ow. 
Uh, what was the name of the quiz? The Tower of Tragedy. Alright, come on. Get to 70. Alright, two bombs away. Double bombs. Double bombs away! Boink. 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 Alright, Grunty. Do your worst. How many tents in Witchy World? One. No, two. Three? There was, there was Madame Grunty's. There was the big top. There we go. That ensures we get to the next phase. Yeah, fetch the cannons, open exhaust. Oh yeah! V10. Alright, so now we'll need to uh, think about clockwork kazooie eggs. Clockwork Kazooie eggs. The closer we are to the rear exhaust, the better, I think. Eventually, it will stall out. The great V10 beast. It will stall. Come on. You can do it. Uh... I don't know. How should I know? Yeah, I don't care about getting hit anymore. Just screw that. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Big Baza, Big Baza, Big Baza. Flashy textures are flashy. Ow! Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! Ow. Look, gotta love it. Which take part in the multi multiplayer pl quiz? Uh, bleh. Yeah, that one. In the hole. No! You mortar forker! Well, at least we don't have to fight her again. It'll just stall out. Could you could you stop? Yes, I want I want this side. Let me... Oh, fudge off! Just... <sighs> no. I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly. Let me in. Die. We 
We fight to the death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have we got any more tricks? Yeah, like the minions. <laughs> Go get him, doofus. That's your source of health. Yeah, 20. 18. Cool. Of course! Uh, release the toxic gas. Cyanide and mustard gas flavor. My favorite! So now we are timed by the amount of amount of air that we have. <laughs> Time for the biggest battle spell I can muster. Winky Bunyan. Run till the Winky Bunyan. There we go. You have to hit her when she has the thing in her hands. So that she drops it inside, and then kaboom. My nemesis! Final achievement has been unlocked. Huzzah! Yay! Yay! We did it! Yeah, time for a party! Oh. We apparently took too long. Twelve minutes is too long, of course. <laughs> Lard pizza. No, Lardy's. Lardy's pizza. Wonderful. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're just, you're just a little late. Yeah, essentially the whole game he was just hiding in his silos. He'll summon the Golden Goliath! Yeah, you'll you'll see what that is. You'll see. Ah, uh, joy. I'm glad it's over. I'm so glad we're done now. This has been quite quite the experience going through this game. Oh joy. So yeah, Grunty's head. That's the thing. That's the thing. Kick around that head. Because, of course, she's technically still alive, even though she's just a head. And also, bones don't quite work like that. Just saying. Hair doesn't quite work like that, either. Eyes don't quite work like that, either. <laughs> Ha! 
Yeah, just you wait until Banjo 3E, which and Wow, I can't believe they didn't change that to Nuts and Bolts. Holy crap. Yeah, and he won his Saucer of Peril. Whatever. He, he, he won the lottery. Of course. Because of course, of course. Of course. The end. How long did that take? 11 hours and 55 minutes. Just short of 12. That is... I think that's actually about my average time of completion. 12, hour, 12 hours. So just shy of the average. So there was one thing I was going to do... Do they actually let me... Alright, so how do I go to the, uh... Is there no way to actually access the, like, replays? There's all the achievements, we did the things! Okay, good, I can select things here. Alright, so in the replays, in the cinema, we have access to the character parade! I said I was gonna sh I was gonna play this, and so I shall! You have been watching The Golden Goliath. I have made this reference several times in this Let's Play. So we get to go through and we get to see the names and relive the adventure that we've went through. So, of course, Mayhem Temple, Slumber. I really dislike the Xbox One controller for this game, uh, especially because of the uh, beginning. Also, you know go pass! You know go pass! Yes, you know go pass. Uh, I dislike the controller, for this in particular because the uh, sensitivity is like way too high. It's like it's like way, way too high. You push in like a fraction of a millimeter and you're like going off the screen with uh, with the camera on the right stick and then you can you can, you just can hardly even go and sneak. You can hardly sneak with with the movement. Uh, it is way too way too precise that like the like this the zone of the analog stick on the xbox one controller where you can actually sneak is so small that it makes the beginning of the game rather horrendous because of those two jiggies that you do in mayhem temple that require you to sneak in order to get the two jiggies one one of which is slumber and then the other one is the uh, connection into Pterodactyl Land, where you're where you're collecting the priceless relic thingy, uh, and you have to not wake up an NPC. It's a, it's the same for both. You you you're not supposed to wake up two things. Mister Patch has a rather unfortunate placement of his blowhole. Well, I guess you have to have some way of calling it a him, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, Mary Maggie Malpass. Mary Maggie. Ah, Pano. Pano the squirrel. The gray squirrel. Yeah, we didn't deal with him too much. We just bought his stuff. Tipped up and tipped up Junior with 19. I think he is num that one is number 19. He has 19 daughters, and I guess that's his first son. Uh, Trotty! In the pool. The wonderful pool. Don't know why they just skipped to Captain Black Eye instead of going to the other piggy, but whatever. You'd think they would just do the piggies. Yeah. Piggles! Piggles! Yeah. Their swimming pool is excellent. It's amazing now. 
The water's just right. Yep. So we've got the aliens, because they were introduced in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So we've got Alf, Petty, and uh, I think the last one's called Gamet. Gamet. Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Gamo. Okay. Right. Right. Because that's the thing, apparently. Gamo. Yes, crispy bacon. Crispy bacon. I don't know what it is about Jolly Rogers Lagoon and pigs. They, they seem to have a thing for pigs in uh, in in the lagoon. Yeah, so that that's a thing. That that's our boss that we took care of. Yeah, I don't know why they had two bosses that were essentially uh, the same mechanic in a row. Because you had Mr. Patch, or you had to hit the weak spots on on his body, and then you had Lord Wu Fok Fok, which again, it's you're hit, you're it's a little harder because you actually have to hit a specific weak spot on his body. But I mean, it's it's the same thing. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same fight twice, except once it's underwater, once it's in the air. Ugh. Scrody is a rather unfortunate name, even though I'm sure it's pronounced Scrotty. There's no way that I can't pronounce it Scrody, and it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be Mama. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be a Mama. So why why would you name a Mama that? I I don't I don't even I don't even. But yeah, Scrit Scrat and Scrut. Their things that it, it, that's a jiggy that took that takes a little while connects to other areas. Also, every time the Stepanodon stomps, it shakes the controller. <laughs> yes, the Chaposaurus and lunch. Um, in particular, this is because they only did the one animation for uh, for Chaposaurus, so they needed to have something in the center. On the pedestal for it to eat. So instead of having Banjo and Kazooie, they just swapped it with uh, with lunch. Yeah, they, that they they totally did that. Yeah, Skivvy. Technically, the Skivvy workers. So there is good reason why I called them Skivvy because that's their actual name. Yep, and Weldar, who has somehow been repaired. This is actually one of the unique. That's one of the more unique battles uh, in this game. I think it's pr I think it's the most unique of the battles in this game other than the final battle with the Hag 1. Yeah, that that I l I like a lot of the boss fights in this game. I don't like the scale of this game. It's far it's like far too big. Um they could have either cut some stuff out, or they could have just like physically made the game, made it smaller. Like made some areas just smaller, because there's some areas in this game that are unnecessarily large, that are, that are just unnecessarily huge when it when it could just be brought down. Just just bring that scale down just a little bit. So that you don't have to feel like you're walking for ages to get places and to like do your backtracking and to get a lot of the jiggies that have like this multi-step processes to uh, to collect them. Just like scale down the stuff a bit so you're not walking as much and you're spending more of your time actually doing than traveling. I think that that's like that is my one and biggest problem with the game is that there's a lot there's a bit too much time spent traveling instead of doing. And that is why I think Banjo Kazooie is the better game of these two because there's not as much time that's spent traveling, there's a lot more time spent doing. Like the first world in Banjo Kazooie, Mumbo's Mountain. You beat that world in 10 minutes. Okay? You can get everything in that world without speedrunning in 
10 minutes. And it establishes a pace right then and there. That And then everything does get a bit longer from there. Don't get me wrong. Worlds get a bit longer from there. Last World takes about 45 minutes to an hour in Banjo-Kazooie. But it has a nice progression in terms of the amount of time it takes to complete the worlds that this game just doesn't have. It starts out long. It gets a little bit longer. But... Sometimes it doesn't take as long as the previous level. Sometimes it takes much longer, and yeah, it it it's like really confusing. The pacing of this game is horrible, absolutely horrible. But in the end, it is a Banjo Kazooie game, which means it is among the top ten games in existence. So there is that, and it's rare. So, hopefully they have learned from their experiences with, uh, with Banjo-Tooie. And when they go to make uh, the new game, Ukulele, uh, as their new studio, Platonic Games, hopefully they'll bear in mind the uh, problems that were inherent with, uh, with this particular game and the strengths that were inherent in... Uh, Banjo Kazooie. There are strengths in Banjo Tooie. Don't get me wrong. This game does have its strengths. A lot of the moves are great. A lot of the, uh, like all the boss fights are are pretty wonderful. Uh, FPS mode can go to hell, but uh, the boss fights themselves pretty decent. A lot of the characters are great. Uh, there are certain aspects to the platforming and to the actual collection of the jiggies that are nice. It's just scale that's the biggest problem so when they go to make ukulele hopefully they'll take the strengths of both of, the, of those two games plus every other game that they've made in their history and uh, make something that ends up being absolutely amazing I did kickstart I did take part in the Kickstarter for ukulele I have my name in the credits of that uh, it's my actual name I didn't bother putting like my uh, YouTube like online persona as my middle name i didn't i didn't bother doing any of that so it's just gonna be it's just my name so i get to say hey my name is in the credits of a of a video game because i helped sponsor making it ah but yeah we're we're essentially at the end here it will end with banjo and kazooie just uh just so we're clear on that matter and uh, yeah, this has been a wonderful experience of a Let's Play, a Let's Rare Replay, mind you. Um, yeah, Rare Replay version, this is the exact same version as the one on the 360. Uh, it's just being played on an Xbox One, as I said, complaining about the Xbox One controller. Uh, and in future, well, I would like to start up a blind playthrough of Nuts and Bolts. But uh, we shall see about that. I also want to uh, I want to eventually do Conquer's Bad Fur Day as well. So we shall see about that. Uh, next would be all right. So next would be Nuts and Bolts Blind. After Nuts and Bolts would be uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. And thing is, I don't necessarily think I'll do any more after that if I even get to around to doing the uh, the Conquer's Bad Fur Day uh, Rare Replay but uh, yeah anyway look forward to Nuts and Bolts it'll happen eventually uh, we shall see uh, not certain about when I want to do it if I want to do it directly after this one or if I will wait a little bit do something else in between time uh, we have, we have had essentially two platforming games in a row that are like this. So, and then these are following doing other platforming games as well in the form of uh, Ori in the Blind Forest and Dust and Elysian Tale. It was like those two, then Banjo Kazooie, and then Banjo Tooie. It's like oh, so many platforming games. I think we need to do something else. 
uh, for a little while. And then we can go in blind to uh, Nuts and Bolts. What I do know is we'll have a lot of uh, stop and swap stuff for that. Uh, so that'll be cool. Anyway, with that, I would like to thank you all for watching again. This has been Showboat. And I will see you all on the next Let's Play.